Okay, so it is just after eight, which normally I like to be done well before this, but like the last few weeks, just winter, dark mornings, that kind of thing. I've been running later, even though it doesn't make me late. So just after eight, finish my workout, gonna hop in the shower, get ready, make coffee, do all the things before I have to go to work. But yeah, that's where we're at timing wise. I like to wake up like six-ish, but today I slept slash snoozed until seven, but I have a little bit of a cold, so I'm giving myself an out on that one. So morning skincare, CeraVe, vitamin C. And I switch up which one I do first, honestly, depending on what my skin needs, like if I'm breaking out. But so CeraVe, vitamin C, and I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. And then I have a prescription DAP zone for my acne. Um, I also take spironolactone for my acne, which is a prescription pill, and it really has changed my life and my skin. So if you're somebody who has suffered from acne their whole life, I mean, I'm a 30 four year old woman and I've had acne my whole life, I definitely recommend looking into it. But I know it's not something you can be on while you're pregnant, etc. So okay, so then just a little pea size of drop and I let that sit while I moisturize my body. And then the other thing is especially with the heat on, I like ultra, ultra, ultra moisturize. I just use the CeraVe, this is like my light. My heavy is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration. This stuff is amazing. And then my SPF is the Neutrogena 60 Plus Serum. Also amazing. I love all three of these products so, so much. when I'm too lazy to do anything with my hair. Slash, it needs to be washed. Maybe tonight, we'll say. Dog barking, as always. Okay, here is a realistic view of my closet. Yes, it's a mess. We have like workout clothes, sweatshirts, tops, dresses, and all my pants. So this is where I come to figure out what I'm gonna wear in the morning. And yeah, it, this is like a mess from my recent travel, but I'll be cleaning it up one day. Okay, so it is winter. It is obviously December vlogmas. So most days for work, I've been wearing just like honestly a boring sweater, but it's cozy and it gets the job done. So let's see how this outfit looks. I'm gonna put this together. I tried to jazz up my bun with this kind of silly headband and earring. So we'll see if I like it all together or not in a second. Okay, so I am good with this outfit. It's not amazing, it's not terrible, but it is perfectly comfortable and fine for work. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my bed and clean my room because after work today, I have a design call. So after work today, I have a design call, which means I'll be sitting in here probably taking the call and I don't want my room to look like a mess. So I gotta make the bed and just generally zhuzh. Okay, so I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee while I am joining a online meeting for my company that I take on Wednesdays from home and I just kind of like putz around my room and listen in and then I head to work. Normally I would make my cup of coffee in my normal mug, but because I'm having it a little bit later than usual, I'm putting it in my to-go cup. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I was never like impressed with a to-go cup in my life but this stanley one that i got at ll bean is like actually really good and if i pick it up at like 2 p.m at work to have some coffee it's still warm which is actually surprising because that never happens to me now the next thing i do is i always um well it's not necessarily always next but i always make the dogs their breakfast because my dog has done me the pleasure of being allergic to protein and dog food and he is on a special diet so it's really you know it's more expensive than normal dog food but you got to do what you got to do for the love of your pups so i make i make my dogs their breakfast which is a wet and dry combination so that they'll eat it in the morning because nobody else wants to touch the dog food because it's kind of gross and smelly time to eat the dogs which they are very excited about so they actually get a combination of wet and dry i don't know why there's water in here we give them 
this is the wet that I'm using. It is the Purina, and basically the, the special diet is called hydrolyzed protein. Technically, it is a prescription diet, but your vet will just sign off on it for you if you think that your dog might be allergic to everything. My dog was getting chronic ear infections, yeast infections, belly licking, butt licking, the whole thing, and so he was actually starting to lose fur, and um, I had to figure out what was going on with him. So we think it's classic allergies, but if I'm being totally honest with you, he still has an ear infection that he got over Thanksgiving when I wasn't here. So I don't know if he potentially got into some foods that he shouldn't have been at, or if it was just, you know, being at the dog park, etc. Okay, so there's the wet food. It's kind of nasty. Then they get dry food. On top of it, this is the dry food that they have. It's the Royal Canin Hydrolyzed Protein. It's just like normal adult sized dogs. It's too smelly. I actually need to get another thing of this. If I can remember today when I'm at work, I will order it. About 150 bucks for this and then another 50 bucks for the wet. So it's like $200 a month and more, maybe 250. I would guess it's about $250 a month for the two dogs. But on a positive note, my dog has always been problematic when it comes to food, like in terms of wanting to eat and he loves this. So there's that, so that's good. So I just finished up my work call and um, to now times to be the time of day that I start thinking about all the things that I have to do today in general. So I just started a little list that I'm gonna bring with me to work. So I make sure I check off those things today. I just finished that conference call. I'm currently working on uploading day one video for you guys. So this is a little bit of a sneak peek in the future. By the way, this is only half done behind me. So don't judge me. I need to get a thing for there and a picture for there. My room is literally always evolving and changing because I'm a creative and that's what people do. You always change things up. But yeah, so I am working on my thumbnail and uploading day one uh, before I wrap this up. As soon as it uploads to YouTube, I'll probably run out the door and head to the office. So I tend to do this really fun thing where even though I have more than enough time in the morning because my office actually doesn't even open until 10 a.m., I like to push it so that I can be like, really, you know, on the brink of potentially being late. So I just uploaded a YouTube video, grabbing my stuff and running to my car so that we can get this day started, baby. And here we go. Okay, and she is off for the day. I actually just set up a car mount in my car so that I could hopefully, as I'm driving around and I can continue to vlog because I just set this up. Hopefully I did it right. Honestly, it wasn't that fair. And I literally just bought that for Vlogmas this year. So it is pretty exciting stuff. So it is 9.49. My office opens in 10 minutes. And surprisingly enough, I should be there on time because I work about five minutes from my house, which is so, so nice. Um, park, get in the car, you know, it should take about 10 minutes total and I will open the showroom right away. So I'm gonna take you guys along to see what that looks like. My town is so cute, I will say. I always joke if you guys follow me on Instagram, which by the way, everything there is, um, Instagram, TikTok is at barely keeping it together. Like you cannot convince me that I don't live in Stars Hollow. Maybe that's like my version of romanticizing my life is pretending that I am a Gilmore girl and I live in Stars Hollow, but where I work is like in a town square that's really, really quaint. Currently, like last night, there was kids singing Christmas carols. This past weekend, there was a tree lighting. Saturday, there's another Christmas event, so. It's definitely kind of a, a quaint, sweet family town. So, you know, it's one of the ways that I get through some of these drearier Christmas months is just pretending that I live in Stars Hollow and romanticizing that part of my life. So I'll show you that as we walk into the office. Okay, I am walking into the office. Yep, it took six minutes to get here. Uh, the temperature must have dropped about 20 degrees overnight because I'm underdressed and I wish I had my mittens on, which are in this bag, but I just haven't had time to put them on yet. Okay, here is the town square that I told you guys. Because I do. Look how cute. There's the train station. Here is where they were doing Christmas carols last night. Okay, so 90% of the 
the time I basically just get lunch at this one place that's directly behind my office. So I go out back here and I will show you what they have. It's pretty expensive, but it's delicious. Put a cookie sandwich. That looks delicious. I wish I knew how much I missed. I know. Hi, can I do two of the um, chicken sliders? walking to Walgreens by my office to go get more cold medicine and a tea from Starbucks because I'm not feeling that great and I want to have stuff for bed tonight for cold medicine. Here is just a little sneak peek of what my office is like. So this is the showroom that I work in. I work for a shade store and I sell window treatments. So everything from blinds and drapes and all of these drawers are different fabric samples and I have clients come in and we go through their design selections and go through all the materials, um, even select the hardware. Everything we make is custom here in the US. So yeah, this is some of what I do. Here are some of my natural fabrics, which are really fun. And yeah, I run this showroom and that is my desk, which is a little bit of a mess at the moment, but this is where I work every day. So today has been a little bit of a slow day here in the showroom. I had one client come in, but I did have a bunch of conference calls, just sort of like year end stuff with my company. And now I'm just working on quotes and that sort of thing for clients, which is what I do a lot of the time, just on email, updating pricing, things like that. Um, Yeah, and now I'm in the process of also trying to hire an editor for these videos. So hopefully, Maybe this video has been done by one of my new editors um, for Vlogmas so that I can make sure I get content up every single day for you guys. So let me know what you think is how it's going. Yes, I lost the earrings. Such is life. Up to Pincho. Pincho, what are you doing? Pincho, what? What are you doing, Pincho? You want to play? Huh? Do you want to play? Bring me your toy. Bring me your toy. Yes. Well, maybe she needs to stop filming at the dinner table with a psychopath. Why is he harassing me? I don't know. What the things that I hate being filmed? <laughs> You're not being filmed. Sit your butt in the chair, please. You think that I'm the one who's being unreasonable that you're sitting there filming yourself eating soup is <laughs> saying that that's strange. You think that I'm the unreasonable one. <laughs> it's silly. Okay, so we just finished dinner and now I have my Amazon packages that we're gonna open. I don't know what this is, and we're gonna see what came in the mail. How much I miss oh, this is exciting. This is modern fertility. This is my test to see where my egg reserves are at. So that is gonna be exciting. Oh, I thought this was for me, but it's not. This is for Papa to wrap gifts. He ordered cake to the house. What a silly guy that Papa is. What a silly guy that Papa is. So, we can open our ribbon. And we can see how we're gonna tie our bows. I'm gonna open it. You were opening it, here. Right? 
you did. You have a long ear. Who has a long ear? Who has a long ear? Mommy. It does look redder in this light. Guess that's true. Okay, so I'm laying in bed now. I'm kind of exhausted and beat from the day, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read about my modern fertility, what I need to do, and I'm gonna watch an episode of White Lotus. I'm behind and everybody else says something epic and crazy happened. So I'm gonna read this, I'm gonna watch White Lotus and maybe do some computer work while I do it. Okay, so now I'm still watching the TV show, but my friends actually text me and everybody wanted me to apply for Love is Blind. So I'm currently doing an online application for being on Love is Blind. Let's see. Hi, I'm Marissa. I am ready to find love in the pods and I think that I would be great for the show because I have a fun and funny personality and what I'm doing now has it worked for me in terms of dating. and finding the right person so maybe this is the thing that could work i feel that i haven't given blow blow his proper time in the spotlight today he really is an impactful part of the life okay so i just finished white lotus i'm in a shower because i need to wash my hair for tomorrow and get in bed to read i'm tired okay so i just got out of the shower took my makeup off i'm gonna do my nighttime skincare routine this is my prescription retinoid that I use. So I'll just do a pea size amount of that. <laughs> My holy hydration, which I will say people have said things since I started being crazy. And then every now and then I will slug, which is with this, it's almost like a Vaseline, but I use the CeraVe healing ointment. They say not to do it when you have your retinoid in, but my skin is so used to retinoid that it's actually not a problem for me anymore. Which this is what I use for my body. It's the Lubriderm. My mom bought it for me and it's really good. Okay, the last like two weeks I've been using the It's a 10 for blonde. And I actually really like it. And it smells really good. Okay, I recently tried this and I've tried a bunch of them. This heat protector, this is the SGX NYC Blaze Heat protectors protection spray okay sorry i just dropped you so i'm gonna do some um bag mama my, lips. my mom got me on bag mom when i was little i'm obsessed okay and she's done so now i'm all moisturized showered i brush my teeth in the shower and i'm gonna climb into bed and read okay at night i like to have my bedside lamps are on um, timers. I got my little blue blue in the bed. I'll get that stuff out of the bed and I will lay here and read my book. If I'm being honest, my two favorite parts of the day are in the morning when I wake up and do my workout and at night when I'm in bed. Relax with the lights low, maybe a candle on and reading my Kindle with my dog. Best parts of my day. It's, 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 it's